everybody, it's Reverend Dan again for God a few minutes as we go through this, uh, this crisis in the world right now. I'm going a little over a minute, so I'm calling it God a, a few minutes. And we're on mile marker number five as we walk through Stephen Furtick's book called Seven Mile Miracle, walking through the seven last sayings of Christ on the cross. The one for today is from John chapter 19, verse 28, and it simply says, Jesus simply says, I am thirsty. Have you ever been thirsty before? Have you ever been in a time when you just felt you were so thirsty that you were barely hanging on? You were just so thirsty that felt like you were gonna die and you had to get something to drink? So the question is, where do you go when you need something to drink? Do you just run to the fridge? If you're driving in your car, do you go to a gas station somewhere on the way and you run and get a Coke, a Pepsi, a water, whatever it might be? Um, do you just go to the, your kitchen sink at home? The, the, it's, it's about being thirsty and thirsting is a sign of distress. Your body's saying, I'm in some type of distress, I need liquid. Jesus on the cross was in distress. He was thirsty, his body needed that. And he lets us know in that moment that he's just as human as we are. And he knows what it feels like to be in distress. He knows to go through what we go through as human beings, what we're going through right now. He knows what it feels like to suffer. And so the question is, when we need something to drink, where do we go? I want you to think of Jesus as your well, your place to go when you're spiritually thirsty when you feel like you've got no hope, especially in the midst of what we're going through, and it feels like you don't know how you're gonna get through it, you don't know where to turn next, go to the well, the well that truly quenches. And Jesus says to the woman at the well, when, uh, uh, when he goes to Samaria, he says that he's gonna give a, her a water, a life-giving water that will well up within her for eternal life. When we drink the water that Christ gives us, it's a forever source of life, no matter what we face. So the question for us, as we thirst for an end to the coronavirus, as we thirst to see our neighbors and friends uh, again and our coworkers and our extended family, when we thirst, what well will you go to? What well will you find to dig deep and drink water that quenches for all eternity, no matter what's going on around us? If you're thirsty, where will you go to find your thirst quenched? Go to the well, that's Christ Jesus. Thanks. Or give a God a few minutes.